Welcome to Old Classic Car in this collection of 100 photographs of classic Ford vans, pickups and lorries. And we begin with a chassis cab Ford Transit Mark 1 from 1968. This was at the Donington Historic Lorry event a few years back. That's followed by a magnificent wartime Fordton 7V, powered by the flathead V8 engine, circa 1939 XAFS, the auxiliary fire service. Same engine, different body, this is a Ford V8 pilot of the early 1950s, converted into a pickup truck. And following on is a rear view of the same vehicle, this was down at Gaydon, now home to the British Motor Museum. Here we have a Ford Thames 300E, the van version of the 100E Saloon, first of several of these that we'll be seeing in this collection of classic Fords. Next up, a Ford Model AA recovery vehicle, circa 1930, I believe. And the first of several Ford E83W vans to feature in this particular collection, PSK 730 of the mid-1950s. An ancient photo, made to look that way, anyway, of a Ford Thames Trader, with an ERF alongside, AAS 944. And that's followed by a Thames ET6 586UXW, bodied as a Civil Defence Corps lorry. The next Ford, one of the few American Fords here, is a Model B V8 of the early 1930s. And an interesting conversion of a Mark I Escort van into a camper. Eight registrations, so that's what, August 1969, early 1970, something like that. And a rear view of a Mark II Ford Escort van. And one of several Mark I Ford Transits to appear in this collection. This is a dropside pickup. Another Ford E83W, this one restored in the livery of Whitehorse Brewery. This particular Ford uh, was fully restored from a wreck several years ago. And there's a genuine barn find, a Fordson E494C, which was the 500 weight quarter ton Ford van of the early 1950s. That's followed by a Ford D series of the late 1970s. Several of these will appear in this collection if you stick around. Another Thames 300E on a particularly snowy day at Donington several years ago. A wonderful old Fordson, late 1930s, EMB 850. Right hand drive. Another D series Ford, this time an articulated lorry. Continuing with these classic Fords, we have a Ford Thames 400E dropside pickup with an E83W alongside. And a rear three quarter view of a Thames 307E, which was the van equivalent of the 105E Anglia back in the day. And there's a front view of the same vehicle, 613HWP. Probably one of the oldest classic Fords to appear in this particular video is this Model T, what would you call it, a minibus, perhaps? And imported from Australia is this Ford Prefect E493A Ute, or Coupe Utility. Shipped over there, bodied locally. Here's another photo showing the rear end better. That rear body was bodied locally in Australia. The front end panels and the chassis were shipped from the UK and the rest of the bodywork was created locally. And back to another 4D83W, this time a dropside pickup, EBL608. Probably a Fordson, lack of no uh, Thames badge on the bonnet. That's followed by a high roof van based on the Ford Transit Mark 1. This was at Gaydon. And a rear three quarter view of another Ford V8 pilot pickup. Absolutely stunning vehicle. Continuing the classic Fords, we've got another Thames 300E. This one fitted with a period sun visor, a prefect style grille. The Thames Trader, 
the Ford commercial vehicles were initially badged as Fordson. Then in the early 1950s, that changed to Thames. Back to the pre-war years now, and a circa 1929-1930 Ford Model AA truck with a locally built cab. That's followed by a flatbed version of the Ford E83W. This was powered by the 1172cc side valve engine. That's featured in the Ford Pop and others. That's followed by another D-series Ford, circa 1973. The Thames 4D. This was the diesel-powered version of this particular truck. You could have a petrol or a diesel. This is the 4D diesel version. And there's my old steel-bodied E83W pickup truck some years ago. This now resides in Southern Ireland somewhere. Sadly, the registration was taken off in the intervening years after I sold it. Now we've got a couple of 4D series. It's thundering along the A41 with an Albion parked up. Another Thames Trader, 538 CMO. A delivery of a farm from Hartington. And here's a garage find Ford E83W van, parked up since the 1960s, just awaiting resurrection. And fully restored here, we've got a Mark 1 Ford Transit van. And continuing with the classic Fords, we've got another D-Series. This particular D-Series lorry has been bodied as a horse box. Well, registration, so that's 1973 or thereabouts. And to the Goodwood Revival back in 2006, and we've got another Fordson 500 weight van. A really nicely turned out example here. And to a more local event, here's another Thames ET6. Petrol powered version of this particular lorry from the 1950s. And a rear view of the same vehicle, OUE994. Another D series, this little short has been built up as a recovery truck and is based in North Wales. G registration, so that's 1968. And a stunning E83W van, this was seen at the Goodwood Revival back in 2015. The rear view now of a twin-wheeled Ford Transit Mark I van. Another Thames Trader RSL 136 all the way from Ellesmere Port on the Wirral. A tipper body, heavy duty bodywork. There's another Thames 4D. This is in the livery of Regent Oil Company Limited. Perhaps a mobile promotional vehicle. The rear three-quarter view of a Thames 300E. Like I say this was based on the 100E saloon, sharing its 1172cc four-cylinder side valve engine. And back to the vintage years now, and a classic uh, Ford Model T drop-side pickup truck. This was at the Landudno Festival back in about 2006 or 7, as was this Ford E83W that's got an organ in the back. Next up, a D-series flatbed. The D-series fire appliance. This was photographed in the grounds of a preserved railway somewhere in the Midlands, I believe. If you can add any information on that vehicle or any others, please pop a note in the comments. That's followed by another Thames 300E. Very smart example in black with prefect style chrome headlamps around. A gorgeous Ford Model AA van in the livery of Morris Oils in Shrewsbury. Still in business, of course. Another Thames 307E, the Anglia-based van. This is a 1965 C registration example, seen at Western Park Classic Car Show many years ago now. And that's followed by Thames 4D, very smartly sheeted up and roped with the stenciling on the cover at the back for a company in ross on Wye in Herefordshire. The rear three-quarter view of another E83W pickup. If you're building up one of these vehicles, some of these photos may just help with the layout and arrangement of the ironwork and the timber. And a wonderful little country bus based on a Ford Model T, EP1673. Part of a large collection of vehicles like this, I believe. 
And this is a strange vehicle. I've only ever seen this the one time. A Thames Trade at Camper Van. 1965 registered. Again, if you can add any background info on that, please pop a note below. And another 300E. A very smart, shiny example in two-tone paint scheme. And the Ford we spotted in Portugal back in 2007. Will it go on to be preserved? I don't think there was any rot in that cab. Here's one of my favourites, a Fordson E88W, EBJ661, uh, late 1930s van, real classic Ford. There's a rear view of the same vehicle, absolutely stunning. A lot more classic Fords to come. And here's a side view of a Ford Model Y, based 500 weight van. Very few of these, the photo isn't great, but I didn't have many to choose from and the barn find 300e on display at the classic car show at the nec a couple of years ago i'm sure that's probably been restored by now and there's a very shiny e83w the 10 hundred weight half ton van of the mid 1950s vpd 22 and its replacement the thames 400e this is a diesel powered example with a drop side pickup body on it The Ford Thames Trader, very smartly liveried example from Leeds. Another good old Ford Transit Mark 1, this is a drop side pickup version. Petrol and diesel versions of the Mark 1 Transits were available of course. And that's followed by a short wheelbase Ford Model AA of about 1930 with what looks like a locally built cab. That's not a factory Ford cab on there. That's followed by a custom cab equipped Ford D series. And another E83W van, the 10 hundred weight van, Thames version, mid 1950s. These were introduced in 1938 and sold all the way through to 1957. And there's another Fordson 7V, an absolutely beautiful vehicle. This was seen at Bicester Heritage a couple of years ago. The Ford Escort Mark 1 van. Continue with these classic Ford vans, pickups and lorries. There's a very barn find, very dusty Ford E83W pickup truck. And a slightly shinier Ford Thames Trader. Again, late 1950s, beginning of the 1960s. The 307E, note the angle of the rear, the door bottom rather. That was to avoid clouting curbs when you were doing your deliveries and swinging the door open. And the museum example now, and this is a Ford Model T van. And another garage find, barn find, 4D83W. These were sold as the Fordson 1010 in Australia. 10 hundred weight, 10 horsepower. That's followed by Ford Transit Mark 1 Campervan, 1968. Perfect for a vintage weekend away. Another Transit, this time a minibus version based on a standard van. And note the orange high roof van next to it. That was the same vehicle that was shown at Gaydon uh, earlier in this particular video. Another Ford here, RSY891. Very unusual recovery body on the back. And another Mark 1 Escort van. And here's a very unusual ice cream van based on a Ford 307E, a Thames 307E van. And the livery of Wall's ice cream. And a rear three quarter view of a southeastern gas board Ford E83W van of the 1950s. Another D Series 4, the drop side pickup, 1968. Looks very original paintwork on there. There's a super shiny Thames 300E, three bar grille, quite an early one, I would imagine, with a period metal sun visor. Another Thames Trader, this one in the livery of a motor engineer's garage.
A really straight, very well turned out 4D 83W van of the mid 1950s with an E493A prefect alongside. And a rear view of a Thames 307E with its rear doors open and a load of potatoes in the back. Side view now of a Ford V8 Pilot. This was at the NEC. Apologies for the lighting not being great, but it was indoors. And here's an unusual coach-built Ford Transit Mark I, an ambulance. Note the design of the rear body is totally non-factory. The rear three-quarter view of an E83W pickup. A friend of mine owns this. I found that in a field in Wales back in 1989. That's my old Devon alongside. And here's the Ford 400E, a flat fronted Ford 400E with a drop side pickup body on it, 1965. Way back now to the First World War era and a Ford Model T pickup of sorts. Another Ford D series, a 1973 example this time with the custom cab, according to the badge on the side. The rear three-quarter view of another Ford Transit Mark One, Very ornate wooden body on the back. F registration, so 1967-68. And here's a very sound E83W that we spotted in Portugal. I should have made some inquiries about this one. May well still be there. And to round out this collection of classic Ford vans and lorries, we have a Ford Model AA, my own Ford Model AA of 1930. And if you have a look on the rest of the channel, you'll see a number of videos about that particular vehicle. I'll include a link at the end of this. So thanks very much for watching this 100 photo collection of classic Ford vans, lorries and pickups. Uh, please check out the rest of the channel, like and subscribe, etc, etc. More videos very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.